Hey guys, Gary Dean, Infinity Custom Works, DetailJuice.com, Gary Dean detailing all of the things. Uh, I am painting this 91 Toyota 4Runner and it is coming along pretty good. So I have put up part one and two, this is part three. Um, tomorrow I'm going to come in and get this thing painted and clear coated and um, should be good to go. Let me show you what's happening and where we're at now. All right, so today I came in this morning and I got everything taped up. Um, I got everything wiped down real good. I am, since I primed today. So my problem was I had to use 80 grit by hand to remove those vinyl decals that were on here. They were literally baked into the paint. So everything had to come off. So. As you can see, I've done a pretty good job. I put three coats of high build primer over all of the areas that I uh, sanded. But prior to dealing with this, I did go from 80 grit to 180. Then I went to 320. Then I went to 400. Then I went to 600 on all of this and I just wasn't trying to wait to continue to go over it and get more and more scratches out. So I went ahead and hit it with some high build primer, got rid of most of the scratches. I say most because I could stay here for a whole day building and building and building and building and building. I don't think it'd be any kind of beneficial you can see that it looks pretty straight now and you can also see that the scratches that were there are absolutely minimized and in most cases aren't there at all um just like with anything there's always a certain budget in mind and you know what the customer wants to pay and all the things so um I put three coats of high build on here. Um, it did a great job of removing all of the sand scratches. Um, I also primed the entire, well, a little over half the roof and then all of the hood. I'm going to come in here in the morning. Um, I'm going to give it a, a sand with 600 grit all over and then give it a quick wipe with uh i use the uh, sprayway glass cleaner first to remove fingerprints and that kind of thing uh, and then after that i'll hit it with some wax and grease remover and then uh a tack cloth and then we'll get to spraying some base and then spraying some clear so this is where we're at at the end of part three, the end of part four is going to be getting it all sprayed. It is 76 degrees in the shop. It is 89% humidity. It is nasty. My floors are sweating. So um, I had a whole lot of issues to deal with in the hood and the roof. And then, like I said, those vinyl stripes were just horrible. So get some paint and some clear on this thing tomorrow. And uh, we should be good to go. I absolutely love my compressor setup. Um, eventually, I'm going to get a bigger compressor. I'm going to go with an 80 gallon uh, that has 16, 17 ish CFM. Uh, I've got 10.2 right now, is the average at 90. So I probably get 12 or 13 at the uh, 25 to 30 psi I generally spray at. So uh, this compressor is good, especially with my radiator fan and my all of the fanciness. And then it goes into all these moisture traps and I have zero air in my line. Um, by the time it gets to here, this is taken up. Yeah, it's got a little bit of air in there. But when it gets to this first trap, there's no air, no water that comes out of any of these traps. There's another trap here with a uh, gauge on it. I keep this gauge, I, I keep the pressure right here at 80 PSI. 
And then it goes into a motor guard filter, which um, is basically a filter that looks like a roll of toilet paper. And this stays bone dry. And you can see I've got it split to where I use my 35 foot hose for spraying and then uh, all other shop pneumatic needs are from that 50 foot hose reel. So, um, all right, anyway, good to go, good day. Tomorrow, get us sanded, get it painted. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for part four. Um, I may even do a part five where it's out in the sun where I show you what, what's going on. Uh, I got just a couple more days before I gotta give this thing back and we're in good shape. Let's just hope it continues to go as well as today went. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day and if you got questions for me, put them in the comments below.